It's the uprising. Man who the li ma tarig. الله أكبر الله أكبر Sinn Féin stand with the Palestinian people Just as we have stood with those from every corner of the world, of every race and of every creed, who loudly and proudly declare, in our thousands, in our millions, we are all Palestinians. In our thousands, in our millions, we are all Palestinians. In our thousands, in our millions, we are all Palestinians. Akarja. Akarja! Or welcome Hamas. Are they a terror? Are they a terror group? Everybody knows what they are. Are they a terror group? Look, um, Piers. Can, can you say it? You Piers, can we have a discussion? Can you say it? Can we have a discussion? Can you call them a terror Piers, group? Jeremy. Can we have a discussion? Can you call them a terror Piers, group? Is it possible to have a rational discussion? Are you with prepared you? to call is Hamas a have, terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, discussion can you? with you? Is it possible? Come on, answer that you question. Can't, can you can't, can you? answer it. No, it's my okay. show. You answer my question. Well, are, you Hamas, are, the, are Hamas a terror group? Listen, can I... Are they a terror group? Piers, can I speak? Answer the question. Can I speak? Are they a terror group? Piers. Piers no, then, no. If you let me speak... Are I'll they say, a terror group? If you'll let me speak, Piers. I'll say something. Go on, then. A ceasefire means both sides... You said that. Are they a terror group? Listen, 
I said that. Are they that a terror group? Part of the process. Are they a terror and group? And will ha- Can we? Go Why can't you say it, Piers? Can we go through what ought to be happening? Just answer my question. Why do you think are Hamas most a terror group? in the world are calling for a ceasefire. Are Why Hamas a terror are? group? Come on, answer that. Give answer me. No, you've got it's not so many, your show. You've got so many opinions. Why you should I answer yours when you won't day? answer mine? Why do you give out your opinions all day and every day? Are Hamas? And you don't like it. Are when Hamas somebody a pushes ter- it back on are you? Are Hamas a terror group? Yes or well, no? You won't. Like, you won't like it when somebody yes pushes no. back on you. What I've said is, I've asked you two questions: Should Hamas stay in power, and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either. Of them. They that is very telling. They and you wonder, it's not very telling and you wonder at all. why not, people think you had a problem not with Jewish people. At all, uh, right? What is you very wonder. telling is your inability to keep quiet for 30 seconds yeah. to allow anybody I, to answer a on question. On my show, I ask people questions. You shout norm- at people. Normally, they answer them. I, you shout at people. I, I, no, no, only do. when they won't answer the question. No, you shout at people all the You've time. You've deliberately not. It would be my pleasure and my honour to host an event in Parliament where our friends from Hezbollah will be, will be speaking. I'd also invited um, the friends from Hamas to come and speak as well. It's quo. I okay, I understand end. that. So are you therefore willing to, to condemn the actions on the 7th of October? I want a world where it doesn't happen. No, so are you willing to I condemn it or are you in fact happen. sitting here justifying I want, it? I, of course I'm not justifying it. So you're willing to condemn it as an act of terrorism? It. Of course I'm not justifying it. I want. And is a state entitled mm-hmm. to defend itself against an act of terrorism? To, let me just ask the question back to you. Are you willing to condemn the murder of 10,000 people, including 4,000 children, I often don't, supported by the British state, and of whose parliament you are a member? I, are you support, I support the, the Israeli the state's question. right to defend mm-hmm. itself Do you support against the, the attacks on innocent civilians, Do you support the which you are not being clear about condemning. Do you support the displacement of 300 children in recent weeks in the are you are you, conde- are you willing state? Are you, you willing that? to condemn this attack on the 7th of October? I don't want anyone You're to not. die. You're not. I'm afraid Barnaby isn't die. willing Jacob, to attack to condemn to die. Hamas. I don't want anyone attack. to die, but it's your As government always, let me know your thoughts. Mail at well, gbnews.com. Those who try very hard to extract from people like me, from DM25, a condemnation of the attack by the Hamas guerrillas. Uh, we'll never get it. I don't fault the Israelis for bombing the Palestinians. I don't. I would do the same exact thing if I was Israel. If I were Israel, uh, I would I would bomb Gaza. I would bomb them. Well, what about the hospitals? I'd bomb the hospitals. I would. Because those people, the Palestinians, are very good at lying. They're very good liars, those people. And they're very good at manipulating people with emotions. And they will do anything to manipulate the world to get them on to get the world on their side. And they're and it's working. Haven't you noticed? Go to all haven't you noticed Pierce Morgan has been debating all these pro Palestine people every single day? Read the comments underneath the videos. You'll see almost all the comments. Oh, how oh, Israel's so bad. They're so evil. They're bomb a hospital. And they believe all the bullshit. Turns out the hospital wasn't bombed. It was actually the parking lot. The the bomb didn't come from Israel. It came from Islamic Jihad. And now all the people who believed the Palestinian lie, they're they're sucking their thumbs right now with egg on their face because they believe bullshit. They believe bullshit. Oh, so terrible. And those people are very quick to have these knee-jerk reactions, negative knee-jerk reactions against Israel because those people have a bias. They have a bias against Israel. They do. They have a serious bias. And it's very disturbing to see this because, what, we just saw over 100,000 Armenians get pushed out of their homes and nobody gave a shit. Uh, Turkey has been bombing the Kurds in, uh, what, northeastern Syria? Today they bombed them and they they took out electricity from the people. People are without power. I think they took out water as well. People are some people are without water in northeastern Syria because of Turkey's bombs, and nobody gives a shit. But Israel does something and the whole world goes insane. Why is that? Ask yourself why that is. That is amazing. There's something to be said about this. This is very unusual. There is something to be said about this. Do you know what that is? It's exactly what God says in the book of Zechariah. That's what it is. I will make Jerusalem into a stumbling block for the whole world. I will make Jerusalem a cup, basically like a cup of wine 
that will intoxicate the whole world. And the book of Zechariah, it's one of the most profound things I've ever read in the Bible. God says, and whoever uplifts Jerusalem will be cut to pieces. Now that, oh man, I get like jittery thinking about that. I, I have to look up the verse again. But that is just, I mean, I summarized it. But that is just so fascinating to me. And it's true. Anything that happens in Israel, you have people up in Norway being outraged by it. Norway. I recently saw something from Norway uh, a couple of days ago. Some Norwegian girl, she had a uh, she was in a pro-Palestine rally, I think in Warsaw. Norwegian girl. And she has a sign that has the Israeli flag in a trash can. And on top of the trash can, it says, the world is better clean. The world is better clean. Meaning the world will be better off clean of Israel. No Israel. Wipe it out. Destroy the country. Basically calling for ethnic cleansing. And I saw the photo, and I'm wondering, you know, there were a lot of Norwegian collaborators with the Nazis. I'm wondering who her grandparents were. Who were her grandparents? But you got people up in Scandinavia up in arms about what's happening in the Middle East on this little strip of land. What's going on there? Israel makes the whole world drunk. The whole world is intoxicated with outrage over anything that happens in Israel. Al-Aqsa Mosque gets raided. Outrage. Thousands of people get killed in some war in Africa. Nobody gives a shit. Hundred people get murdered in some massacre in a village somewhere in, in uh, Timbuktu somewhere. Nobody gives a shit. But something happens in Israel and it's the whole world. There's something to be said about this. There's something to be said about this, guys. It really is amazing how the Bible is right. 